All right, so I'm up in the Cycling Hub office because Tim and me and Cameron and probably everyone I've spoke to has had Don't a Don't drag of... me into this. Well, I'm sure we've had an argument. I was what... not on the podcast. Well, but what I'm saying is at some point we've had a discussion about training difficulty on Zwift and the fact that I say, rightly so, that we should just have it on 100% and leave it there. What I'm saying is we're just going to test it at 100%, 50% and 0% just to see if we maintain the same watts throughout, what sensations I get in my legs, what times I do up there, and ultimately what, it, what, what, what it's like. Well, my argument is, listen, what my argument is, is that when we're racing, we should all have the same resistance, okay? And we should have it set at 100, because Zwift has spent a lot of money creating inclines and descents. So we should use them to the full potential, not just flatten it all out. That's what I'm saying. That's what my argument is. And if I'm wrong, leave a comment below and prove me wrong. So the first effort I'm going to do is at zero difficulty. So I'm not going to feel... Tim, yeah. am I actually going to feel anything at all or not? No. Is he just going to feel like it's flat all the way up? Yeah. And I just maintain the same wattage? Yeah. You have okay. to be in a different gear though, remember? Why do I have to be in a different gear? Get the wattage out of the gearing. Oh, right. I, no, it's, well, I just find the wattage in the gear, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We went back into Zwift now. I've picked the safety bike because it's the quickest up here. It doesn't really matter what bike I'm on, really, does it? You can get 400 watts, are you? No, 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 no. 300. Can I have a fan on, please? So just hit it right there at that red as marker. The, as the thing comes up. Yeah, I see. I've got to double my wattage from here. All right, I've, gone, I've peaked too soon already. I mean, it's definitely not the hardest effort I've ever done, but after training this morning, I'll admit it's not pleasant. All right, 100 meters to go. We're going to have averaged 311 watts. 310. I stop pedaling now. Will it go down? Slow down. 310 watts, 2 minutes 49, 89 seconds. First effort's done, 2 minutes 49 seconds. I averaged 310 watts. I'll have to check back on the RPM, but it was around 80. And at no point did I change gear. Just remember that. Second effort, 50% now. Hello, it's me, Chris Pritchard reporting, halfway up the full KOM. This is harder than the first time round. I'm averaging less watts at the minute, 309. But this is harder. Why is that, anybody? Can anybody answer me that? Because there's actual resistance, Chris. Yeah. Mr. Pritchard. So is, so is 310 watts the same regardless? Yeah. It's just a cadence change, and therefore a difference in whether you're taking the pressure on your legs or your lungs. <sighs> Which I've said all along. We're all arguing the same argument here. We're just coming at it from different angles. But if I went out on a real road, if I up a gradient like this, grinding 59 cadence compared to. Change gear. No. Your average is same. <laughs> if you were to keep the exact same RPM and the exact same power, and drop it down. Regardless of your resistance, it would be the same. Timing. Did you change gear? Nope. Cadence. Cadence 64, 2 minutes 49.58. 2 what? 2.49.58. What were we saying, Vic? What were we saying? What are you saying? What Please. I'm saying, because you're saying that it's no more difficult. 310 it. watts. It's 310 watts regardless. Right, right, we both agree on that. Yeah. How that watt is produced, though, is different. If I'm seated, grinding a hard gear out, I'm working muscles in a different way. But well, that's the resistance the hill has. Yeah, but then you have these, like, look at this. No, this is like a revolutionary thing. <laughs> Gears, you can change them so you can up your cadence to your appropriate cadence. I fully appreciate that. But why should one person have to ride on the flat and one person goes up well, the hill? Well, that's just their preference. No, some, people, some people might even enjoy the resistance and produce yeah. more power. 
How, How is that unfair? unfair? I don't get it. It's not unfair. It's not, not unfair, but you should all be racing the same course. You either have your resistance on zero, fine. You either have it on 50% or 100%. Bite, 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 bite. Uh, train the difficulty. The Why? Difficulty. It doesn't matter. Let it begin! The power is still the same. It is the same. I agree with you on that. So, <laughs> then, so it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. But it does. It's preference. Listen, listen, another, another example. I get out of the saddle to climb a hill because I've got it on full resistance. Right. You sit in the saddle in your TT position, just going in your nice, steady cadence. The, the cadence you've developed because you're so good at it, right? Okay. You're working efficiently. No upper body's moving. I'm out of the saddle. Because I'm trying to get up this climb. Yeah, like you can this. change gears so you can I've, be in I've the run out of gears. I've run out of gears. I've got no more gears. So I'm working all this. No, but that's your own fault for choosing that resistance. Just put it down then. But it's the hill. The hill's the hill. <laughs> I want to work against the 10% gradient because it says 10% on there. But the, <laughs> I don't understand this argument. Right, let's, let's do one last one. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. So we've just done 50 and the time was exactly the same, weren't it, Tim? Yep. 249, 310, cadence was different. Cadence was different. Because you didn't change gear. Because I didn't change gear. And I don't want to change gear. I want... There's, there's no argument, but there is an argument. All I want is, is, is fairness across trainer um, difficulty. That's it. Just don't have a trainer difficulty, have it? Just look down that camera and, and say what you really want. I want everybody to be at 100% trainer difficulty. So we can all experience our kicker climbs. I want to experience this kicker climb, but I feel at a disadvantage because I have to grind harder. I have to get out the saddle more. And when I get out the saddle, what happens? Burn more calories, I work harder. It hurts my arms, it hurts my neck, it hurts my back. And I have to do all that where someone in a TT position can just maintain that position all the way through a fake hill. This is going to cause so much aggro to people. Or yourself and your own internal mental battle. No, because I'm happy. Are you? I'm happy with 100% with difficulty. I would argue you're not going to be able to do this. No, it's going to be like 30 or fear. Is that a challenge? But let's do it and then you fail. And then, then you're going to be you've like... Dropped, you've dropped 15 RPM in 50%. So, I should drop so you'll be bit. down to 50. It's going to be Which hard is basically knot, what hard I climbed knot. hard knot at. Right, so I can, but I'll just get out of the saddle. I was out of the saddle cramping in both legs. I will get out of the saddle cramping both legs if, if need be. Right, get ready to push that when you cross the line. 310. Three, this is all about the slow mo facials here. 310 of that, like, cadence hurts. Hurts for me. But it's the same what? It's the same what? Yeah, but you use but it to adjust your muscles. We both said the same thing! Can you press change? Yeah. Oh, and the, and the mic. I got it. Well, you're doing a bit more of the other. Okay. I'm gonna settle down in a minute. I'm gonna you're find doing it. About four. Shush, shush. Shush. The problem with the cadence, you might be able to do any less than. Oh yeah, he, he can. This, this cadence in slow mode is going to be so <laughs> I don't think you need to put it in slow mode. So this is hard not 33 up there. When it Justin Bieber that said never say never again. What's that? Nothing. It was, it was what did you say? I said I love Justin Bieber. I mean nothing. Right, this is harder. Lungs are hurting. Legs are killing. Same gearing. Real hill. Actual hill. I'm working against 6%, 5%, 4% now. So 
I've actually done races on 100% where I've done a lot better. What? What is this I've heard of? Well, I did like overpower. That's because I can use the dialogue for my little friend. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm producing too many watts. Two minutes, 49, 46. Bro, that was harder on lungs and legs. And we know why, everyone knows why. Yeah. 310 again. Yeah? Yeah, it's dropped down now, but yeah, 310. Cadence 34. 34. Yeah. Right, listen. What are we saying? I think we all want the same thing. It's, you're right, you can change gear and that would have, that would have given me the same cadence. So exact same feeling. I know. Okay. I know that. Okay. So why? Why is this argument a thing? I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe you're wrong. Wait. <laughs> wait. Is Chris Rich on ever wrong? Wait. Should we just dive into that soul there? <laughs> Wait. So it's different if you don't change gears, what you're saying? It's <laughs> so if you... Yeah, I know this. But but what my point is, my, what my point is, Yeah. right, you're riding, like, like I've just said, and you agree with that, mm -hmm. you ride at your very efficient TT time trial position, nothing moves up here, yeah? Okay. Nice, Fair solid, enough. nice, solid cadence, 100 cadence. Yeah. I want to feel the full effect of that 10% climb and I run out of gears, so I'm grinding to try and stay up with you. I'm out of the saddle, I'm wasting loads of energy out of the saddle, whereas you're like this. Right. I Don't see the valid point there. My point is, the hill's there. Like, there should be a hill there. It so says, you're saying that someone is, yeah. If the, hill should, if, if the hill's there, mm -hmm. it should feel 10% for everyone. Right. Yeah? Okay. What, what, no, don't say okay. Should it or not? Sure. I'm Should it or not? Well, it's just the power is the power. Like I know the power. Yeah, we agree on that. Let's shake hands on that. Right, we agree on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what I, what I don't agree on is the fact that you can flatten the hills out. But that's what I mean. It's rider preference because of, as I've said before. Yeah. I've done better in races, uphill races, with 10, 15, 20 percent on swim. Mm -hmm. Where I've done better on 100% because I could feel I can work against the gradient. But when you get when you go and ride Fred Whitten, you can't tell them. Actually, I I prefer flatter roads and and to, to go at a faster gear. cadence. Do you know what I mean? Change gear. But you run out you run out of gears because they're so steep, and everyone's on the same steepness. Everyone's feeling that gradient. Right. Physically they are, but depends on your on your gear ratio. Which is... So what are we trying to say? What's the conclusion? I don't even know. Like we need a conclusion. I think we've... Like it's I just th madness, I so many yeah, theories. Yeah, I think we've just... We opened a, a wormhole that just turned into a rabbit hole that turned into a molehill <laughs> and now I have no idea. Now you're just chasing your tail. Yeah, no, it's... Now we just don't know anything. So what have we... The conclusion we've come to is if you stay in the same gear and change your trainer difficulty the It'll harder, get harder. The higher it goes, the harder it becomes. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.